Hi you four and welcome to today's Reading for Pleasure. Today we're going to find out about some of Rome's emperors. It's called Mad, Bad and Dangerous to Know. Who's Rome's maddest Mr Mad? AD 68. Emperors come and go. Sometimes we get lucky, sometimes we don't. Following the death of Augustus in AD 14, we've had some of the most head-bagging loony tunes this side of a spitting cobra. But who is the maddest and baddest? Read on. First, we've got Tiberius. And he was in rule between AD 14 and AD 37. Who was he? He was a stepson of Augustus, top soldier and pretty good at ruling. He strengthened the frontiers of the empire and saved up lots of money. Was he mad? Nope. But not unreasonable fear of assassination and an unpleasant skin disease made him very edgy, not to mention rather unforgiving. Was he bad? Not so much bad as hard to deal with. He moved from Rome to the remote island of Capri, where he felt safer and ruled by post. Hit and miss nature of Roman postal service caused loss of patience in the capital and prompted assassination attempts. Dangerous to know? Plots to depose him dealt with in starkly brutal fashion and led to reign of terror in Rome, which cast long shadows over his final years as emperor. Then what? He died of old age. So next it was Caligula and he was in rule between AD 37 and AD 41. Who was he? He was the great nephew of Tiberius. Not quite right, even as a child. Got a lot worse when he became emperor. He was extremely extravagant, mainly with the money which Tiberius had saved. Was he mad? Well, he built a temple to himself and appeared in it dressed as a goddess. He married his sister. When she died, he declared weeks of public mourning when no one was allowed to laugh. He tried to have his horse declared consul. He assembled a massive army to invade Britain, but f forgot to provide ships for them to cross the channel. He then had them gather seashells instead. Bad told his girlfriends while kissing them on the neck, you'll lose this beautiful head whenever I decide. The silver-tongued charmer. Alas, many of Caligula's activities are unsuitable for a family newspaper. Dangerous to know? Usual executions of rivals and plotters against him. Had a courtier executed for being too well-groomed. Insisted the victim's father came to the execution and then invited him to dinner as you do. Then what? Well, he was assassinated by his own soldiers and not a moment too soon. Who's next? Claudius. He was in charge from AD 41 to AD 54. Who was he? He was the nephew of Tiberius. He became emperor aged 50, having been plucked from obscurity by palace guards following the assassination of Caligula. He was disabled, he was frail and he was nervous, but he was far brighter than he looked. Was he mad? Not remotely. He was devoted to ruling, to improve the civil service and involving the provinces more directly in government. He also added territory to the empire, particularly Britain and more of Greece. Was he bad? Not really. His main failing, a weakness for scheming wives, especially his fourth. Dangerous to know? Only if you want to kill him. Despite being good at his job, he lacked support of Rome's ruling class. Various assassination attempts resulted in the execution of 35 senators during his reign. Then what? His wife poisoned his mushroom soup to make way for her son, Nero. Final one, Nero, and he ruled from AD 54 to AD 68. Who was he? He was a stepson of Claudius. Started off well, but power went to his head. He built a lot, including one of Rome's finest public baths and a luxurious palace called the Golden House. Was he mad? He had an artistic temperament. He thought the Greeks were wonderful and imagined himself as a poet, musician, charioteer and actor. When he performed, no one 
was allowed to leave the theatre, not even women to give birth. When he was really on form, he had himself crowned five times a day. Was he bad? Well, he blamed the Christians for a great fire in Rome in AD 64 and persecuted them mercilessly. Some were even tarred, staked and torched to provide illumination in his private gardens. Was he dangerous to know? Well, he murdered his mother, his wife, his brother, his stepbrother and forced tutor, one of his tutors, the greatest philosopher of his age, to commit suicide and also did away with scores more real and imagined rivals. So yes, he was dangerous to know. Then what? He committed suicide shortly before his own soldiers came along to bump him off. So there you go. The mad, bad and dangerous emperors of Rome.